Question nine, straight out the first year of maths, straight off sort of what is it, week two, coordinate geometry. And we've got P and Q here, and we need to show that they're the diameter of a circle. So if we just find out what the midpoint of PQ is, and actually show it, because it is a show question. So the midpoint of PQ is minus 9 plus 15 over 2, and 8 minus 10 over 2. That works out to be 3 minus 1. Therefore, A is midpoint, A is centre of PQ, or the midpoint of PQ. And that means if that's the centre of a circle, because it's told you that, then PQ is diameter. Um, there's loads of other ways of doing that with some gradients of lines and other bits, but just finding out that it's the midpoint is the quickest bit, plus putting some words around it. We're then asked to find out the equation of the circle, and of course the equation of the circle is x minus the x number all squared, y minus the y number, so plus 1 all squared, equals the radius squared. So we'll work out what the radius is. Um, we'll go from We'll go from Q to here. So from 3 to 15, of course, is 12. From minus 1 to minus 10 is 9. And the square root of that is the square root of 225, which is 15. So you can write 15 squared there, or 225. Either would be fine. For part C, again, I mean, this is still very much first year work. We, I would make sure you drew the circle first. We've got P over here, we've got Q down here, we know that A is the center. R is also on the circle, so that P to R is 20. Well, we do also know what P to A to P is, and we do also know what A to R is, because of course they're 15. We've just worked those out. And although you could try and do, I mean, the shortest distance is we're going there to there. And we could try and do some complicated trick here, but why not just see this little right angle, angle triangle here? We've got a right angle triangle here. This is 10 because it's half of 20. There's 15. And let's try and use Pythagoras to do that. So I've got 15 squared minus 10 squared, which is 125. And we need to square root that. And so that length there is 5 root 5. And for part D, look, just continuing with the same diagram, just a bit careful, we're being asked to find the value of the angle ARQ, A to R to Q. So we really want that angle there. Um, I think I'm what I'm going to do is find out what that angle there is, first of all, because that's this angle here in this triangle. And so that's just going to be an inverse cos of 10 over 15, or you could use inverse sine or inverse tan, of course, using the value you just found out. Um, that works out to be, I think, um, I, I can't remember what that was. So just pause there a second. Sorry, the calculator appears. So the inverse cos of 10 over 15 is 41.189. Now, that's that angle there. And one final piece of GCSE maths to remember is that if this is a diameter, then this angle here is 90 degrees. So the angle we want is 90 minus the 48.189. So the angle we want is 41.8 degrees. And really, um, we'd expect most of that to be got correct if you're going to get a high grade.